Welcome back to another installment of a solo bird's eye view. Um, I was on vacation. I just got back and I was reading some stuff and I just had to make a video because I was like, what the hell? Okay, so... <sighs> okay, let's just do this real quick. I want to do a very, very, very short touch of a history lesson. And so let's go ahead and look at that real quick. Okay, this is the American flag. Today, the flag consists of 13 horizontal stripes, seven red, alternating with six white. The stripes represent the original 13 colonies and stars represent the 50 states of the Union. The colors of the flags are symbolic as well as uh, red symbolizes hardiness and valor. White symbolizes purity and innocence. And blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. So, nowhere in there does the flag talk about owning slaves or doing anything like that. This is what it stands for, right? Hardiness and valor. White is to symbolize the purity and innocence. And blue is vigilance, perseverance, and justice. And the, the stars are just how many states we have. I don't know how you can read too much into this, but here we go. So, um, it's Olympic time now, trials time. And we have this person, Chelsea Wolf. Um, whatever her beliefs are, I don't even want, it doesn't even matter what pronoun she used, what she wants to be called, whatever. That's not the part I even want to talk about. Chelsea Wolf, she is trying to be, she is trying to represent the United States in the Olympics. But this, but this is what she puts out. And this is what her intention is, right? Her intention is uh, okay, BMX freestyle rider Chelsea Wolf, who qualified as an alternate to represent the U.S. in this year's Summer Olympics in Tokyo, said last year that her goal was to win an Olympic medal so I can burn the U.S. flag on the podium. Your sole purpose is to represent the United States so you can win a medal just to burn the flag and this is the kind of people that we want to send to the olympics to represent the united states like i i i yeah 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 okay yeah i don't know i don't even know where to go with this one because you know what i, I just tom, tom tom mcdonald will tell you for me but we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. Because here's the thing. Is why... Okay. Oh, my God. So you want to... See, I can't even get to the point where... Your sole purpose is to just cause an issue. Like, you don't want to win a medal so you can show transgender girls that they too can succeed. Because that's, she's a transgender, whatever. I don't really want to get, but, but for me, like, okay, shouldn't that be your point of focus, right? is to show people that you can persevere and you can succeed and do something. But no, no, no. I just want to burn the U.S. flag and, and make a big spectacle of everything. Like, yeah, I, I don't even know. Like, to me, as a veteran that was deployed, I can't even begin to grasp this thought process. And it just really, really for a lack of better term, just upsets me that this is what you want to do. I defended this country for your right to free speech. Fine. I defended your rights to do whatever it is you want. And this is how you repay all the veterans and all the people that have died defending this country and died to keep you free 
you want to burn something that they hold very close to their heart. I don't know. I'm sure there's one or two or whatever out there. But I personally, out of all the people I've served with, out of all the people that I know in the military, all the people that I've talked to from past wars, being a veteran, hold the U.S. flag very dear. They get upset when it touches the ground. They get upset when it's not taken care of because this is part of what they used as their point of or their anchor when they're overseas is that U.S. flag on their on their shoulder, that U.S. flag on that base. That's what they use as their piece of the United States while they're overseas defending your right to succeed and want to, I don't know. Okay, whatever. I, I can't get any more on that one. That one's just there. Okay. So the next headline I read, see, I was okay with that. I was like, whatever. And then I read the next headline and I was like, Whoa. so, so now you have this Gwendolyn Berry, uh, who is a hammer thrower who placed third at the track trials in Eugene, Oregon at Hayward field. This was just a few days ago. And you can see this picture of her with her back turned to the U.S. flag during a medal ceremony. And, and, and these are the people that we may send to represent the United States. <laughs> this, is where, this is where I get just really, really confused is... The Olympics is about being the best in your country, the pinnacle of that sport of your country, and representing that country in that sport in the Olympic Games. But you can't even stand in, in, you, you know, I'm not saying you have to do this or whatever. I'm just saying you can't stand there politely and respectfully for the other people for the national anthem a few minutes of a song that's how disrespectful you are is you just turn your back and make a spectacle of everything and make it about you since when is the olympics about you i don't know anywhere in the olympics where it's about you that's not what this was that's not what the olympics is about but apparently now this is this is what people want to send to represent represent the United States. Individuals that don't give a crap about the United States at all. They want it to be about them. And I know they're going to say, oh, I care all about the United States. That's why I want to make a statement and everything. No, you don't. You care about you. Otherwise, you wouldn't be making the spectacle on this stage. If you want to if you want to make a spectacle and talk about rights and everything, there is appropriate venues, there is appropriate avenues for you to take to do that. The Olympics on the podium, that's not it. That is not it. That is disrespectful to everyone. And if you don't like it, you know what? Tom's got some words for you. But we are all the same. We are red, white, and blue. Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Because honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake. And, and honestly, that's really the bottom line is, is we're embarrassed that you're embarrassed to be American and that you're embarrassed to live in a country that is by far the freest of anywhere in the world. And that's still not enough for you to give two minutes of respect for a song I don't know. But with that, that's all I got for right now. Just got back from vacation, so I'm going to get my feet wet and some relaxation and hang out. But with that, we're out of here. Hope to see you again. Much love all. I'll catch you next time.
If you lie to the government, they'll put you in prison. But when they lie to all of us, it's called being a politician. You think taking guns away will save our kids from the killings? But you're pro-choice. Abortion kills way more children. If America's so terrible and racist, it probably isn't safe to encourage immigration. Just saying, all the contradictions are embarrassing. You know who hates America the most? Americans. Trigger warnings used to be on TV for seizures. And now they're everywhere to protect millennials' feelings. He, she, his, him, hers, them, they. Screw a pronoun, because everyone's a retard these days. I hear him preaching at the protest that hatred's the problem. But hating straight men, white folks, and Christians is common. Coca-Cola telling people they should be less white. They preach intolerance, but if you disagree, they fight. There's a race war here. Elections based on fear. Black lives only matter once every four years. Soldiers died for this country, and every one of us benefits. Give welfare to the bums and forget about the veterans Black folks and white folks divided by the news But we are all the same, we are red, white, and blue Ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too Y'all are so fake, oh no The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes Whoa, you can make us see it your way No way, gasoline and propane More flames no more snowflakes. They set us up to fail, that's what they built the system for. Put an ammunition shop across the street from a liquor store. Empowering women used to be different than this before. The role models got OnlyFans or dance on a stripper pole. Screw it, I ain't tripping, I don't mean to be mean. But if our children are the future, then our future is bleak. They take an Adderall to focus, hit McDonald's to eat. They're addicted to phones and they take Xanax to sleep. They blurred the lines dividing communism and democracy. In 2021, we paint the patriots as Nazis. The men playing women's sports get trophies for winning. Like, great, let's celebrate. Celebrate a man for beating some women. If you're black, your life matters. You're supposed to embrace it. If you're rich or you're smart, then you're probably Asian. If you're gay, then you're brave. All of that I'm okay with. But if you're white, the stereotype is you are a racist. Blaming capitalism like that's the reason things are tough. While you tweet from an iPhone and sip on a Starbucks. You're supporting what you stand against. You don't think you are, but a Percocet addict don't donate money to pharma. Damn, dog. We're all afraid to speak the truth. And the more afraid we get, the more we hate the ones who do. You're ashamed to be American? Okay, that's cool. Cause honestly, we are all ashamed of you too. Y'all are so fake, oh no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa, you can make us see it your way. No way, gasoline and propane. More flames, oh no. No more snowflakes. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, that's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Ay, soon enough, we running out of options. Ay, this ain't gonna end till it's in the coffin. Ay, we ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. Ay, I don't know how we can make amends or we drop it. Snowflakes melt when it's hot, kid. Y'all are so fake. Oh no. The forecast said that there'd be snowflakes. Whoa. You can make us see it your way. No way. Gasoline and probe. More flames, oh no, no more snowflakes. Mm -hmm.